Most people think creating a character like this takes paid software or pro-level editing. But it starts with just one photo. This isn't CGI, it's AI. And with the right free tools, your photo can walk, talk and react like this. Crazy? Maybe. But I'll show you how. Step by step. Yo, look at this character. He's not just chilling. He's blinking, talking, walking, and honestly, might roast you if you blink first. And the wildest part, it all started with just one photo. No green screens, no after effects, no million dollar studio behind the scenes. Just five free tools and a little bit of digital wizardry. We're talking straight up magic using tools like Leonardo AI for the face, Kling AI for the moves, Eleven Labs for the voice, CapCut to glue it all together, and Dreamface for those facial tweaks. And yes, they're all free. I already dropped the download links, juicy prompts, and even a couple cracked goodies in my Telegram channel. Links down below. So do the classic YouTube triple threat. Like, smash that sub button, and buckle up. Let's build your AI alter ego. Step one starts now. Step one, creating the character. All right, first things first. We're building your digital clone, your AI twin, your online doppelganger that's gonna vibe harder than your real self. And we're doing it all in, drum roll please, Leonardo AR. Yeah, this thing's a beast. So go ahead, open your browser, type in leonardo.ai, Log in using your email. Yes, the one you always forget the password to. And let's dive in. Now hit that image creation button. But wait, don't just start smashing random buttons. Let's set it up like pros. Here's the cheat code. Model preset. Switch it from Phoenix to Flux Dev. Style. Keep that baby on dynamic. Image dimensions. Go for that crispy 169. Because we're not making TikToks in 2008. This is cinema level stuff. Now it's prompt time, baby. This is where the magic happens. Paste in your custom prompt, or hey, you can totally steal mine from the description and hit generate. Boom. Few seconds later, hello, digital clone. Look at this. Tell me that's not fire. The detailing, insane. The lighting, studio level. This thing legit looks like it's ready for a Netflix sci-fi series. If you love it, download it right away. If you're picky, respect and want to tweak stuff maybe the hoodies too basic or the studio lighting's looking like your grandma's living room no worries just copy your prompt and go to chat gpt and be like yo change the hoodie color to red make the background a cyberpunk studio boom prompt updated no drama want to switch the vibe complete just change the style to portrait cinematic paste the prompt again and hit that generate button. Now it looks like a movie poster. Tell me this ain't Marvel level. And guess what? Want a girl version of the character? Easy, just switch he to she and man to woman in your prompt. That's it. The result, chef's kiss. Look at this, crazy textures, perfect skin tones, those highlights, bruh, unreal. You can go totally wild. Like create a girl in a sari, yes. A traditional Siri with soft cinematic lighting and modern studio background. Or go full Disney mode. Ask ChatGPT. Give me a Pixar 3D style prompt for a young engineer in a hoodie. Then boom, drop it into Leonardo and welcome to Pixar Studios, you legend. And hey, if the image looks off, just regenerate it. It's free. Chill. Don't overthink. Sometimes even AI wakes up on the wrong side of the server. Pro tip time. I even dropped ready-made prompts in the description for animated characters, girls in saris, 3D styles, and more. Use them. Remix them. Go nuts. I got you. Bonus tip. The credit hack you weren't supposed to know. Okay, okay, okay. This is top secret. Let's say your credits run out which they will fast. Here's how you become the AI wizard with unlimited lives. Go to this site, free9mail.com, paste your Gmail, hit generate. It gives you a list of Gmail aliases, like Gmail's long lost cousins. Copy all of them. Paste into Notepad like the tech genius you are. Pick one, head back to Leonardo AI. Sign up with the new email. Create password. Now here's the cool part. Leonardo sends the verification code to your OG Gmail. Since all aliases go to the same inbox, just grab the code, verify, agree to all the terms and conditions like the polite legend you are. 
and bam, 150 fresh credits. You're back in business, baby. Repeat this trick as many times as you want. It's literally a cheat code for infinite AI images. Step two, animating the character. All right, let's breathe life into this digital homie. We're talking movement, expression, hand gestures. Basically, we're turning your photo into a legit animated speaker. And for that, we're using the one and only Kling AI. Quick warning before you rage click. Do not, I repeat, do not use a temporary or alias email to sign into Kling. If you do, guess what? Boom. Server busy error every single time. So only use your real Gmail, the one with the 4,000 unread promos. That's your golden key to unlocking the magic. Creating the first clip, talking and hand gestures. Let's get moving. Head over to Kling AI. On the homepage, click on video, then select image to video. Upload that Leonardo AI image you generated in step one. Pro tip, select Kling 1.6 as your model. It's smooth, stable, and makes your character move like it's studied acting at Juilliard. Now drop this in the prompt box. The character is speaking and using natural hand gestures. Then scroll down to the negative prompt box and paste. Blurry face, weird limbs, robotic movements. Mode time. Change the mode to professional. You can use it three times per new account, so use it wisely like a Netflix trial. Then smash that generate button and wait a few seconds. Look at that! Your character's actually talking, gesturing, explaining stuff like he's in a TED talk. Now, if you want him to stand up in the next scene, this is where it gets juicy. Let's make him stand, walk, and sit like a real human. To make smooth transitions, we need to work some behind-the-scenes magic. Here's how. 1. Go to finalframe.ai 2. Upload the Kling video you just made 3. It'll give you 4 still frames Grab the last one, that's our golden ticket. Four, that frame has a watermark, thanks Kling. So, go to watermarkremover.io, upload the image, wait a sec, it'll clean that watermark like it never existed. Download that fresh, clean image. Boom. Creating the second clip, standing up while talking. Back to Kling AI, baby. One, upload the watermark-free image we just cleaned. Two, in the prompt box, type, Character stands up while talking. Three, keep the same negative prompt. Four, hit generate. And look at him, my boy's on his feet, ready to take over the world. Creating the third clip, walking while talking. Now let's take him for a stroll. Extract the final frame from second clip. Go back to Kling AI and upload that image without watermark. In the prompt box, type, character starts walking while talking. Keep the same negative prompt and hit generate. Smooth AF. He's on the move now, casually dropping knowledge like a boss. Creating the final clip, walking back and sitting, and now the grand finale. Walking back to his chair and sitting down. Let's close the loop. This time, we're doing a little extra magic using two images. One, the last frame from your walking clip, our current pose. Two, the original sitting image you used back in step one. Upload both to Kling AI and use this prompt character walks back to his chair while talking and sits down. Keep that negative prompt locked in and hit generate. Look at that transition. Seamless. Like he just wrapped a podcast and hit the outro. Step 3. Voice generation with 11 labs. Okay, so we've got a character that moves like a pro, talks with its hands and walks like it owns the studio. But right now, it's still mute. Time to give this legend a voice. Let's head over to 11 labs. This one's stupid simple. One. Open up 11labs.com. 2. Sign in with Google. Literally one click, boom, done. 3. Go to text to speech. 4. Paste your script into that big white box like a boss. Make sure the script is clean and snappy. No essays, please. Pick your voice vibe. Now, scroll through the voices. These aren't just names, they're personalities. Want to keep it chill and neutral? Go with Raju. Click around, preview them, vibe check them, click generate, sit back and listen. Happy with the voice? Click download. That's your character's soul right there. We've got the body, we've got the voice. 
Next, we polish the visuals. Step 4. Removing watermark from Kling AI clips. Alright, we've come too far to let a giant Kling AI watermark ruin the vibe. Like bro, this isn't a PowerPoint demo from 2010. We're building cinematic magic here. Time to wipe that watermark off like it was never there. Let's go. 1. Head to 123apps.com. 2. Scroll or search for Remove Logo from Video. 3. Click Open File and upload your Kling AI video. 4. You'll see your video on screen. Now, carefully drag the box over the watermark. Make sure it fits just right. No sloppy jobs. Precision is key. Once that box is on point, hit apply. Let it process. Hit play. If it looks clean and watermark free, boom, you're golden. Now go to export, select 720p. Trust me, look solid and hit that export button. Wait a moment and then click save. Done. Your masterpiece is now officially watermark free and ready to shine. Step five, merging all clips in CapCut. CapCut alert, use VPN smartly. CapCut's banned in a few countries because apparently smooth editing is a threat now. So we're gonna beat the system like the rebels we are. One, open urban VPN. Two, connect to Hong Kong server. Why Hong Kong? Because CapCut runs buttery smooth there. Don't ask, just trust the process. Let's merge your AI masterpiece. 1. Open CapCut. 2. Click New Project. 3. Import all four clips in order. Talking, standing, walking, sitting. Now, drag them onto the timeline and line them up like a smooth sequence. If you notice the lighting's a little off, like one clip looks shot on Mars and the other in your bedroom, click the clip. Go to Adjust, Tweak Brightness, Contrast, Temp, just match the vibes till it looks seamless. Transitions, optional but cool. Final export settings. Once it's all looking clean, it's time to export. Click export. Double check the path where it's saving. No surprises later. Set your resolution. 1080p is more than enough. Frame rate, keep it smooth. 30 FPS is the sweet spot. Hit that export button and let CapCut do its thing. Give it a sec. And boom, your AI-powered talking, walking, sitting character video is done. Step six, lip sync with Dreamface. One, open up Dreamface. Two, click on video lip sync. Three, then tap that avatar icon, like you're uploading your masterpiece to the cloud gods. Four, upload the video you just exported from CapCut, the one that's walking, talking, sitting, all the good stuff. Now let's add the voice. Click add script to continue. Then hit import from files, upload your MP3 from 11 laps, the one with your voiceover. Click confirm like a boss. Now hit animate, then animate image. Sit back, chill, stretch, hydrate. This takes about 60 to 90 seconds, basically, enough time to realize you forgot to blink for three hours. When it's done, preview your masterpiece right inside Dreamface. If it looks smooth and synced, slam that download button like you just won a game show. And boom, that's a wrap. We took a single still image, turned it into a moving, talking, lip syncing character, gave it a whole vibe, and did it all for free. Every tool I used, already chilling in the video description. The cracked versions of Dreamface and CapCut, those are waiting for you in my telegram. No gatekeeping here. If you made it this far, drop a comment saying I built my clone and I swear I'll heart every single one. So hit that subscribe button for more madness. This is mine to Mac and we're just getting started. Catch you in the next one.